Hello everyone. We have ourselves a doozy of an opening. This is coming from my good friend Black Wolf Cards uh, over on Instagram. You guys follow him over there. And uh, let's just get this guy open. Just got it in the mail now. And I hope to be soon historic uh, opening. Not in this video. But I am going to be submitting this guy and probably doing something a little stupid or something amazing. We have ourselves a PSA 10 Shadowless Base Set Charizard. This guy is gorgeous. Wow. So the front, it looks pretty perfect. I mean, the centering is beautiful. The hollow looks beautiful. Now, my good friend uh, Black Wolf Cards is telling me that this is probably one of, it, or if not, the best PSA 10 Shadowless Charizard cards out there on the market. Um, there's only a few that exist. I think there's like 50 something that exist in the whole world. Um, now I own two of them. But what I'm going to do, which is potentially either really Really, really smart or really stupid? I'm going to find out. The same thing I'm going to do first is that I'm going to actually submit this card to NBA, what is it, NBADiamond.com. And it's Mike Baker Authentication. And they're going to grade this guy based off of um, all the other PSA 10s out there and how this one compares to the rest of them. If it's going to be like a black diamond or a gold, I'm pretty sure it's going to get the black diamond certification. Because if you see, this card is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm unsure if it has, I can't really see if it has those corner problems. It looks like it doesn't. That's the biggest problem with trying to get. Okay, so that's a smart move. All right, wait. So I'm jumping around here. That's a smart move. Now the dumb move that I'm going to do is that I'm actually going to send this guy into Beckett. With that probably black diamond certification, I'm going to send it to Beckett, and I can't send it with a guaranteed um, crack it open if it's a 10 or, or better, like a 10 gold or better. So I'm going to have to send this guy with no guarantee, and it could come back a BGS 9.5, or could come back a BGS 10 gold, or maybe even a BGS 10 black label, which there is not one base set card in existence um, that has the black label cert, the black label grading. Now I'm looking at, I see maybe there's something with the corner here, that maybe it has that corner thing so where the corner is not perfect, so it's like lifted up. Because when you look at it spot on, it is beautiful. The corners are beautiful, but when you tilt it, it can have that tilt problem again, where I think I see it, where it's lifted up a little bit. You might have it here too, yeah. Where it's lifted up. How about this? I don't see it here. Might not be that on that edge, but this card is absolutely flawless. It just looks absolutely flawless. This is going to be exciting. So we're going to see. We're going to send it in, and we'll go from there. Let's see what it comes back. This is a new cert too, so it's even harder to get these guys in a new cert. Just gorgeous. Let's hope it works out. Let's see. I'm trying to look at everything. I mean, it literally, you can't see because like the plastic. This plastic's like covering, like it looks like it's scratched up whatever, but obviously it's not. The centering looks perfect. The surface looks like it's perfect. Maybe they might dock the surface because of the corners, and maybe that's great as corner. Maybe a 9.5 corners. I know the centering on the back 
It's not exactly perfect. It's a little bit off from left to right, a little bit more left than it is to the right. Um, I think top to bottom looks pretty good. Top to bottom looks pretty good. Left to right's a little bit, but that could be under the 60-40 rule where the centering on the front has to be absolutely perfect to be a 10, which it looks like it is. And top to bottom, left to right. But the back, it could be off by 60-40 ratio, whatever, from each corner, from each side to side. And it looks like this could be 60-40. So it could still get the 10 grade for centering, but the corners might be a 9.5. I mean, and if this doesn't get, if the corners don't get a 10 here, then there really is truly going to be never a black label 10 ever. So we're going to find out. I'm going to send this in. So, so there's going to be two follow-up videos after this guy. I'm going to be sending in this to the NBA certification, the, the, the Mike, Mike Baker authentication. Um, I'm going to get it back. It should be a black, black diamond, probably like a little sticker up here saying black diamond. And then I'm going to send it in to Beckett. This is probably one of the dumbest things you could do. But it might not be. We'll see. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Oh my. It really is beautiful, this card. Again, shout out to Black Wolf Cards on Instagram. What are we gonna do? Like, subscribe. I have no idea how that stuff works. I don't, know, I don't use socials. You can see my premium setup I have here. I'm all about just the actual cards. All right, take care guys.